Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB and you're not. And today we're going to give you a first look at the Above the Tie Windsor razor which is uh, Stan from Above the Tie's new uh, production. And as you can see it comes in the very nice packaging that you would have come to expect from Above the Tie because you know this is premium uh, level gear. It comes with a card of course. Again I really like to give credit where credit is due on packaging because this packaging is quite good. Uh, you do get a, some blades, some extra blades, and as you can see, the razor is very snug and secure. And I mean very, it's not going to fall out in the packaging, so much so that uh, I have to fight with it to get it out. But once you do get it out, out comes the Above the Tie Windsor Razor. Now, a few things about this razor. This is 303 stainless steel. It has a very high level of polish on it and this has been something that folks who like above the tie razors have been asking for. Of course he has the regular ones with the matte finish. This one as you can see is quite shiny and lovely. Also the cap has been extended to completely cover um, the blade which is also uh, nice, so you don't have to worry about those blade edges sticking out. That's a complaint some have aired. It's never bothered me personally. It actually allows you to hold the blade in, but on this model, they've chosen to uh, cover the blade entirely, which is quite nice. Uh, the fit and finish on this is very good. Very good on the polishing. Of course, it is a three-piece uh, razor, as you can see there by the handle. I will uh, put a link down below so you can go check out pics. I would normally do this outside, but it's raining today, and on the fit and finish, the polishing uh, is very, very good. On the underside, you see a few marks around here, but that's pretty tough um, to get. Um, the base plate is flawless, uh, and of course, as you know, um, Above the Time makes excellent razors. They have that 30-day guarantee. so. If something is wrong, you can uh, send it back and they'll swap it out. Uh, I've never had a problem with the above the tie razor. However, the inspector for Nicola had one that um, arrived shipped and he told Stan and Stan sent him out a replacement immediately. So he really does back his product. Uh, I will be using this tomorrow and a few times before I send it back to Stan. Uh, what I can tell you now though is that it's a very nice looking razor. Fit and finish is quite good. The cost is 210 bucks. Now, that's a lot. The normal offering from above the tie is 185, but of course, it costs money to achieve this level of polishing and finishing. And uh, from what I can see here, it's quite good. You have to decide whether that's something you're willing to pay. Um, I have enjoyed many above the tie razors. I own some, and uh, so we'll see how it goes with the shape. I expect it to be good. This is the R plate, which I happen to like. So. If you're interested, go on over to Above the Tie, check it out. It's called the Windsor, and uh, you can get it in some variations. Just go to the website and check it out. Um, one last thing I want to get to. Again, the shaving material has moved over to here to imcdb.com. If you're watching, please subscribe and uh, point others who have subscribed on the iLather channel to imcdb.com uh, because that's where the content uh, will be. And, You'll be seeing this in action soon. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.